Ba -da -ba -da -bong. Here we go. So today I have you hook, line, and sinker because we are going fishing. Ooh. Jake, why exactly? Well, you say, right, that fishing is your passion? No, no. Can't eat fish, don't like fish, don't go near fish, don't go near anything that lives in water. It doesn't work for me. Let's quantify this. I mean, if I show you a picture of a fish, does your head fall no, off? It's, it's like you being near the sun. <laughs> Bye. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we all have our things, mate. Well, I've bought all the stuff now, so we're well, going to yeah. do it and we're going to enjoy it. You know what I did recently? I built a web app. Oh, well done, mate. I know, oh, right? Congratulations. It's actually quite nice to realise that my skills haven't completely atrophied. Yeah, you still got it. Well done. It's, a, it's an app that lets you record voice memos. And the whole thing, I was actually quite impressed with this, the whole thing is 71 kilobytes. Okay, does it work offline? Yes. A star. That's all I care about. Uh, that is all you actually care about. Go on, you, then, let's see it, it then. Show us it. Show us it. Where is it? Where's the phone? Aha. Yeah, so, so you got this, uh, you can record a voice memo and like, ta-da, save it and all that kind of stuff. It's all working offline because I'm actually in airplane mode because yeah, we're roaming, you don't want to save all this. And you can actually you know. listen, listen to it and all that. It actually works really well. Okay, and so the web, web is perfect then, yeah? I think the, the problem we have is that the browsers themselves, uh, they're used to encoding and decoding stuff, right? That's yeah, we've got for... audio element, video elements, uh, web audio API. Yeah, WebRTC also encodes to send over the wire, decoded yeah. on the other side. True, true. Right? But none of that's available in JavaScript. I mean, the decoder is, right? I mean, that's web audio. Yeah, no, it doesn't work with Ogopus. Um, which does work with the audio elements, so there's a bit of a, an inconsistency. Uh, that that's, must be a Chrome bug, right? It, I mean, because the spec says it, it's, fine. it's a bug, but it's a feature request more than it's a bug. Uh, yeah, fair enough. So, because the, the, these encoders are surely already in there in the browser for WebRTC, right? It, it, they can already encode speech and, and whatever to, to send across the wire, but there's no, that's just not exposed on the web at all. No, it, it, well, sort of. If you're in Firefox, you've got the Media Recorder API, which you can get OG. Video, it's Opus, I think, mm -hmm. for video and audio, but it's not uh, available in Chrome or Safari or anywhere else today. So the net result is the only way you can get the thing to save is to actually create a WAV file. And thankfully, there are some very skilled people who've you know wrapped the whole thing up in libraries and so on. But in any case, um, the only way you can actually store these files and have it usable everywhere is a WAV file. Oh, that's going to be. That's... I think that's bonkers. So this is why I think the stream spec is so important because we will be able to just pipe uh, like a, a, a WAV stream or, or whatever type into the encoder and get out like a uint8 array of, yes. of bits that encoded data. That's part one. I think though the browser shouldn't have special magical privileges to encode things. If it's encoding things, it should, in theory, allowed developers to encode. Things, well, this right? is the extensible web, right? If if that technology is already in the browser, it absolutely must be available to developers. The only excuse that you can say to, to, to not do that is security, and there's no security issue with exposing a, no, a, an encoder. No, exactly. Tell you what, all that aside, you know, there were, there's ECMAScript 6 classes in there, fat arrows, promises, index DB, like there's loads going on in there, all really good fun to use. Yep. Um, but for me, the nicest part was I tested it on Firefox, and there were a couple of small issues to fix. It was pretty minor. Probably because they were adhering to the spec more yeah, than they were, it usually is. Probably. Um, and then, Somebody out of the blue contacted me and said, do you know what, it works really nicely on Firefox OS. Oh, And it was just lovely. like, it works on Firefox OS, it works on Chrome, it works on desktop, on tablet, on phone, it works in all these places. And, uh, so how, how big is the app all in? Uh, 71 kilobytes. I think a hello world for a native app, you're going to be hitting near a megabyte. Yeah. So, so this is a thing, 71K, it works on uh, mobile, tablet, desktop, Firefox OS, like Chrome OS presumably. Mm -hmm. uh, 71k. Boom. That's the benefit of the web. I've been bored of this now. What have you got then? i got fish to catch. Nothing. Nothing.
nothing.